Is it early or is late night? We at the after party, so don't act brand new. You could call me in the morning. You might catch me rolling with my Western crew. And you gon' wanna match my high. You be catching feelings, I can see it in your eyes. Got three bad bitches right by my side. You can tell me shit, I'm gonna enjoy this ride. Handy in my cup, I don't give a fuck, I'm tryna feel right. Hey y'all, it's Lana Moore here. I'm back with another video and this week's video is going to be a favorites video. What's up Sunshine Squad? We're gonna do a favorites video you all. Um, I love doing videos like this on my channel. I feel like I haven't done a video like this in forever. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and not ramble and go ahead and get started because I have some products to show you. Some, I'll be honest with you, some are random. Um, but I think you all will like them. Um, hopefully you all are liking the hair. Did something different. So hopefully you will like it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty. First product is this. Honey Oil by Pink. This is my favorite stuff, y'all. Like, put this stuff on. Look at what it looks like. You can barely see it, but... I'm gonna rub it together on my hands. But look at how it gives like that nice like sheen to your hand. Definitely a good product for the summertime, springtime. If you gonna have your legs out or be outside this summer, like definitely a go. Definitely worth the purchase. Yes, I have a towel right here. Don't worry, I'm not wiping this on my bed. <laughs> but yes, definitely worth the purchase. It makes your skin look so glistening and pretty. So yes, definitely that. That's one of my favorites. I use it every day practically. As you see, the bottle does not come like this. It comes full, much fuller than this. But yes, really love this. All right, next product. I think I should get my random products out the way because the other ones are makeup related. Next product I love is my little fan. Yes, I love this little fan. This is definitely worth it. <laughs> the purchase love this little fan i love how like i'll like drown my face in setting spray and i'll turn this little fan on and just do like this just to get all my foundation to pretty much melt into my skin if you're like me and you love to drown your face in your setting spray this is definitely worth the purchase i got off of amazon i have was watching this other girl's video um, I think around this time last year and I saw that she had it and I was like <gasps> I need that in my collection because y'all I used to use my box fan the one that goes in the window to just literally like let my face pretty much settle yeah you sit in front of that <laughs> so yeah definitely more convenient it's worth it you will love it so yes I feel like my light is like a little too bright but yeah that brand it comes in two colors I think and then they have other like different shapes too they have one like square shaped I think heart shaped they have like different ones next random product is my edge control like my edge gel like look at this yes thriving my edges are thriving just say that um so this instant it's called instant control edge and braid gel so if you have braids like myself this will be for you. Maximum hold definitely has maximum hold, especially because y'all know I live in Arizona. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so definitely my edges stay in place. And I work where I work at. It be hot in there. And my edges still be thriving at the end of shift. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, as you see, it's almost gone because I really love to use this. It has an inch. It's a okay. I'll be honest with you. It don't smell the best. Okay, I've had edge gels that smell like beautiful flowers and like pineapple. Okay, I've had edge gel like that. This one's more like a an okay smell, but just saying. And I also use this on my eyebrows as well. 
Um, I've just refused to spend money to buy brow freeze or brow soap or soap brows, you know, those trends that people do. So honestly, this is what I like to use on my eyebrows and my edges. And as you see, definitely give it a try. Um, if you don't, it is $12 and it is more, kind of, I would say it's hard to find. So I might, won't be able to link that one. Um, you can find it at a local beauty supply store, but if you can't find that one, another one that I will recommend that is, um, easy to find is the Eben 24 hour hold gel. And then the curls one that I've actually showed before in a favorites video back before. Um, I also use those curls. I'll be honest, it's not my favorite, but if you want to just try to do your brows using edge gel, I would say give it a try, but even would probably be better. Um, and it's more, I would say, even is more local and more like easy to get to. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's one of those products that you can find more so than that one. Okay. So now let's go ahead and get into the beauty products. Very exciting. First product is this. I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Very favorite, favorite spray. I have this setting spray on right now. I'm not disappointed. Let's just say that. I got this setting spray actually on a good deal. I got it during Cyber Monday. And y'all, I think what well, it might I think it was Cyber Monday, right? Day after Christmas, Cyber Monday. I don't know. I know I got it when it was one of those flash sales. And I had two bottles of these for $25 or something. And if you know, you know that this one bottle alone is like $32. So y'all, if y'all want a video on when you should buy makeup and why, <laughs> and why you should buy makeup or when, what time is the best time to buy makeup, let me know in the comments below because I got you y'all. I get my makeup most of the time. They be on deals. Yes, definitely love this. We're going to keep it going with the setting sprays. A little ASMR. As you see, this next one is practically gone. It's like practically gone. It's probably like if this bottle was clear, it'd probably be like down here. This is the NYX Radiant Setting Spray. And I have this on as well. That's how I'm so glowy. This stuff is the bomb. I love this stuff. I'll be honest with you though, it's for my girls with more olive yellow undertones. I would say it's more for our family. So if your skin complexion is close to mine or if you have golden undertones like myself, this stuff will be your best friend. This is more of a gold spray is why I say that. If you're more fair toned or have red undertones, um, I think that, yeah red I think it's like yellow I can't think of the other undertone right now but if you have those it's probably not gonna be your best friend it's probably you're not gonna love it you're probably gonna hate this product um but this one for my golden undertones like myself you're gonna love this if I have a picture of what this looks like I actually sprayed this all over my face so you can see what I'm talking about how it's actually gold <laughs> like it's like gold and it looks scary I'll be honest with you the picture's scary but it's not that scary but it's like just let's just say a little goes a long way okay a little goes a long way so don't put too much but just enough to where you hear that glow all right next I probably featured this before but I'll be honest with you it's just my favorite like literally I usually love to show the favorites that I'm actually have on my face so I have the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and I'm actually wearing this shade right here as my bronzer so that's what i use as my bronzer on my face okay really love this i'm gonna probably look to see if they have one with all browns in it so i can just have various shades of brown but really love this it's at ulta um you definitely can find it there and like i said before i'll leave the links down below to these products Next is the foundation I am wearing. Yes. Ooh, you can see my bra. That's so tacky. Okay. <laughs> That's really random. But next is the CoverGirl Outlast through Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation. That's 24-hour coverage. And it's full coverage. So all my full coverage girls, this you're going to love this. It's like $10. Eight, it ranges between 8 to 10 bucks. 
and they have a nice array of shades. I actually used to wear CoverGirl Queen back in the like 2011, 12-ish years. <laughs> well, it was like 10 years ago when I just said that out loud. Okay, it just dawned on me that I've been wearing makeup for like 10 years. Wow, 10, 11 years, you're kind of old girl. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, I wore that back in those days. Um, and honestly, back then I didn't feel they had an array of colors for my melanin girls, my medium girls, like my brown girls, period. I feel like we didn't really have a much shade range, but yo, this this line of CoverGirl has an amazing ray of shades. Literally, I saw deep complexion to the lightest complexion to the shades in between. I am in the shade Toasted, toasted Almond for reference. Um, and I shade matched it by just looking at the bottle, looking at the undertone. I could tell it had more of a yellow undertone to it as to why I went for this one. So, yeah, you always want to match your chest. And as you see, this is what it looks like on me. I do have on extra stuff, but this stuff does look good on its own. Um, so it has a primer, concealer, foundation, and then it gives you that naturally flawless finish. It is sweat proof, humidity proof. Keep in mind, I work in a warehouse, so I wear this and my face stays put all day. The only thing I'll be honest with you if you do have combination oily skin like me, your makeup will it will separate a little bit around this area, um, the smile line area, um, because like I said, I do have oils in my skin. I would have to ask my sister and my mom because they have more combo dry skin. So I would have to see for them if their makeup separates. If once I find out, I'll let y'all know and I'll put like maybe a comment in the screen. Um, if theirs separates but mine does a little bit because I am I do have more oils in my skin um, than they do when it comes to that okay all right I have two more products we're doing good on time <laughs> I have two more products my next product I've actually shown before but I really love it so it deserves a second shout out is the elf camo concealer 16 hour wear love this it's in the matte finish. I actually don't wear a lot of matte products anymore, but I really do love this concealer for my people who do get like um, creasing under your eyes really easily. I love that I don't get creasing as much with this. I have this on my under eye, my forehead, my nose, my upper lip, on my lips. <laughs> um, I didn't put it on my chin today. I was like, that's too much. But yeah, I have it on my face. And yes, I love how it does. I do mix it with the foundation though because this on its own to me I feel is too bright for me. Um, but I do still like it because I don't want nothing too dark. So to me the shade is just right with this. I haven't found the shade that actually will be like this shade so I just do it myself. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. As you see. And I am in the shade medium warm and this also comes in an array of shades too. They have, this is the matte finish, but I think they also have one that is not matte. So I'll be sure, like I said, to link this below. Last but not least is another CoverGirl product. It is the CoverGirl Clean Professional Translucent Loose Powder Translucent Medium. I'm in the shade Translucent Medium. I love this because I love like how the powder is like a fine texture. I love how it does not um, leave a white cast under my eye. As you see, like my under eyes don't look ashy. You can see they look bright, but they don't look like ashy. Like if you know what I mean, you know, if you know, you know. Like some setting powders will like when you bake under your eyes or like you set under it, sometimes it'll leave like that white cast or it'll be too bright or look ashy looking. And I love that this does not do that, um, especially because I've tried several powders like under my eye. I've had ones I've loved, I've had ones I've hated, and this is definitely on the one I love. So definitely worth the purchase. Try this out, give this one a try. I'm not sure what other shades it comes in. Um, like I said, I'm in translucent medium, but 
I'm pretty sure they have one for fair tone, um, more deeper tones. And then this will be obviously for the people who are like in my shade range. All right, y'all. Hopefully you all enjoyed this favorites video. I talked a little bit too much, but y'all, y'all know when I have favorites, I just love to talk about them. And I love to be authentic and true with what I love. That's why I make sure I either purchase them more than once or I use them more than once. Ew. Allergy season. I hate it. <laughs> My nose. It's so much. It's a little dusty. I ain't gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I like to use them more than once at least before I actually be like, oh, this is my favorite because like I like I like myself to be authentic. OK, so I will see you all in the next one. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment and share and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles.